Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your speaking and welcome to the summary video for multiplayer game number 89. So first of all, first of all this game was played around two weeks ago. So <laughs> yeah, I'm quite busy in real right now and I actually don't have the time to edit all the games I uh, managed to play. Uh, on a couple of free days, so this one was played two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, it's actually a rank rank game. I got into a rank game invited by Filthy Robot. Uh, Filthy Robot runs a YouTube channel and streams on Twitch. You can find the link in my on my main channel page, and probably I will not forget in the description below. Uh, in this game, we've got Zemp, Lectan, Marshall. The vote and reeling one. Uh, what's next? Well, first of all, secondly, actually, uh, if you don't want to know how the game went, do not watch the following video and just go to the first position of the playlist that's in here. Here, oh, yeah, here, somewhere in here. Mm, so, you have been warned, spoiler alert, absolutely spoiler alert. Uh, so let's continue. So I rolled, I rolled Mongolia this time. That was pretty <laughs> amazingly cool stuff. Uh, getting Mongolia, but have no fear. Uh, Phil the robot got Arabia. So if you have a choice between Mongolia and Arabia, most of the time you want to get Arabia. You're probably going to ask why. Well, Camel archers are just so darn stronger than Kashyyyk, it's amazing. Yes, Kashyyyk have more movement, but in the end, most of the time when you're on roads, the raw combat strength is what matters and Camel archers just slaughter Kashyyyk quite easily. Nevertheless, well, nevertheless, on top of that, Arabia's unique ability is just so so much better in the unique building they are just so much better than uh, mongolia's unique ability well then you got khan khan is a fancy unit don't get me wrong khan is a fancy unit and if i believe correctly i actually this is well not mentioning Kashyyyk, i actually use khans a lot in this game well maybe not a lot but in some crucial moments and they were really, really helpful. That extra movement on the cans in Mongolia are just awesome. You can step on a hill or on a rough terrain and plant the citadel in the same turn. That's really good stuff. That's really good stuff. All right, but let's let's get this show on the road. So here we are. This is where I started, and I was like thinking, okay, let's move. Let's scout a little bit. And this is what I actually got. So I stepped on the hill and I decided I definitely want to plant in here. Maybe not the best spot around, but copper, copper, sugar and marble in the capital, three luxuries and marble in the capital, plus two wheat, uh, two sheep. That sounded like a very good spot to plant. This is the rough roughly the view of my land and what's up in here now ah you can see the mouse pointer so my capital as you can see was pretty pretty decent i managed to grab great life and i went this time for oh excuse me wow i'm sorry it's kind of late today so i went for great li i went for liberty this game so free settler and planting as much as cities as possible feeling like yeah this looks like land for liberty there's quite a lot of happiness we've got spices copper marble sugar i believe there was yeah exactly there was pearls so five luxuries i decided to use this up get as much city as possible with the notion that I'll actually try to kill somebody with cash eggs. I actually messed up city placement just a little bit that you will see later on for example this city as you can probably imagine I can't really plant 
too many cities in here right now because I want to have a city here to make a passage from one side to the other but this way I can't plant a city in here so I blocked some of the city spots but nevertheless I was trying to get as much land as possible and as I said great life mine uh, I believe pyramids mine as well quite a lot of horses in here this is actually looking for a quite interesting start. Uh, I didn't say that who was playing who. Well, Zemp rolled Germany, Lecten rolled Siam, Filthy Robot got Arabia, and Rilan 1 got mm, Zulu. So, to be honest, a pretty, pretty strong composition of teams uh, of civs, especially you get three uh, unique units that you actually achieve on. Uh, chivalry tech. So we've got camel archers, Mongolian kashiks, and, and Siam elephants in one game. And on top of that, you get Zulus, um, Zulus MP, which is actually anti, uh, anti uh, chivalry unit. Uh, so basically, Germany and well, basically Germany and Ottomans are. Well, kind of left out without any special ability that you could use at the chivalry timing. Though, don't get me wrong, Ottomans, Janissaries, woo! If they keep on rolling, you can have crazy effects with those. But, anyways, this is how my land looked. Uh, since I saw that I'm actually quite isolated, I decided that I will focus economy just a tiny little bit and we'll get as much. Kashyyyk and gold to upgrade to Kashyyyk as possible and then decide what to do either use that army defensively or use that army to attack somebody This is roughly my empire at turn 87. There's one more city in the north now I will start for happiness very very badly though science wise and economy wise I think I was doing pretty well now Zempt if I remember correctly clear out Rilan 1 so Rilan 1 GG Germany pwned Zulus before Zulus got in peace and now as you can probably see in here I had did not get a Pantheon somehow I couldn't fix a shrine in my queue I think that actually hurts me and that happens a lot to me that I actually miss a pantheon but i was focused in here on economy as much as possible actually you see a great scientist in here and i believe i got two great scientists or something around that so i was keeping up at science but don't get me wrong Z filthy robot actually got a beastie capital beastie capital if i remember correctly in let i will try to show you uh what lens he had so though my score was a little bit higher I was not doing that great and Sign was actually doing pretty well themselves as well so that looked like a pretty interesting game and as you can see Kashyyyk have arrived now the question were what useful could I do with them basically <laughs> basically this is what happened now uh, okay you're probably asking what what's going on Ottomans with Great Wall killed by Kashyyyk uh, and Arabia. Yes, how did that happen? Uh, well, that's kind of strange. I was, I was arming up to attack Ottomans like forever. Like I was trying to use every single horse, the horse resource that I had, to get as much Kashyyyk as possible, half of a horseman to take cities. And I was absolutely planning to attack Ottomans. But Ottomans decided that, well, basically before I finished actually building all my units, he decided that, uh, okay, um, I got Mongolia arming up at my borders, I will go attack Arabia. It is quite, quite far away from him. Uh, well, that didn't work well, though he was close, don't get me wrong. He was, he was pretty close, but in my honest opinion, um, well, in my honest opinion, if you think about it, uh, maybe that was right, maybe that was wrong, I 
think he couldn't attack me really so what he decided to do is risk everything and take Arabia's capital with hopes that he can do it fast enough before I will attack him and sit on two capitals. Maybe that plan was the only option for him since my defensive spot was just amazingly good. You couldn't attack out Sarai really without ships no way against Keshex it's just not doable in my opinion but Arabia's capital was pretty hard to attack as well though he did caught filthy off guard don't get me wrong he did filthy caught filthy off guard and filthy actually had to spend a lot of resources and energy to defend against that attack and it was really close very very close but that didn't work well for him well I decided to use that moment and seize Ottoman's capital uh, he basically had no defenses at that point so but I had to do it because I didn't want Filthy to get his capital so just did what I thought was the best solution for me and it was quickly attack him because I knew his attack failed and it will be really really quick when when Filthy will try and take the capital, so I actually took it first. Now, interestingly enough, Filthy was not interested in fighting me at this moment. Mm, you could argue, why didn't he attack me? I think he had more hammers at that point, I don't remember exactly, but my my borders were well quite stretched out it would be hard to defend all of this land uh, even with two capitals and great wall but what i think he knew this is gonna happen that i have a lot of cities i'm liberty i do not have a chance to catch up in population that quickly so in the end he thought that he could beat me in science and kill me with uh, good tech now on the other well let me show you the next uh, next part okay just really quickly what's going on now you can see a quite long list of things and wonders they actually get so filthy robot I want to take a note about one thing Statue of Liberty and look at my tech Steam power so I'm at least three techs behind right now so he is leaning in science quite enormously so his plan is working out quite well now on top of that he's got a lot of cool wonders Hanging Gardens, Machu Picchu, Notre Dame, Taj Mahal, Big Ben Brandenburg Gate, Link Tower of Pisa, every single wonder that is really really needed, almost every single wonder that is really really crucial in a very good game he has. Now Sion was just spamming wonders like crazy though he was behind in tech as well, though he's got some cool wonders like Temple of Artemis, Forbidden Palace, Himeji Castle, Chichen Itza, Colossus, so quite a lot of wonders. Now, what did he do to get all of that? He killed Germany quite quickly. So he killed Germany. Germany fall to uh, Germany fall to frigates, and he couldn't defend too much. I kept all of my Keshiks, almost all of my Keshiks. I didn't try to get too many frigates. I was very reluctant to go the tech path because I knew Filthy is going for uh, research labs and he had an inland sea that you cannot access. So, so I kind of knew that he will not go for frigates. So I try to skip it as well and get as much science as possible in hopes, in hopes that I can actually defend with Kashyyyk. Mm. So this is oh actually i got frigates in here all right i got a little bit of frigates but this is my empire quite a lot of cities mm, average science but i'm not at research labs yet a couple of great scientists saved up 
in hopes that I can burn them all a little bit later on. I'm very reluctant with burning um, great scientists to get research labs. Probably my mistake, but nevertheless, uh, this is just how I play. Uh, sometimes I should probably use great scientists to get some proper tags like research labs a couple of turns earlier. But to be honest, I don't have that grasp on the timing. This is that one part of the game that actually slips me a little bit. When is the right time to use one or two great scientists to get to a science tech faster like public school or research labs? I definitely need to take the topic into some consideration next time. Um, anyways, at this point, we are all at peace. Just yet and basically nothing happens so i reached research labs build up trying to build up research labs risking quite a lot as you can see i've got cash eggs only cash eggs and not a single unit that you could really upgrade to anything useful but at the same time we've got infantry in here and i'm almost there at flight almost there with quite a lot of oil so this was my plan basically try to catch up in science and start building troops because it was very clear that filthy will try to use his technological advantage and he will try to kill me basically now this is a cool turn it shows you what happens at a certain point in the game when you play with people like Philly Robot, Arvius, Zemt, and a lot of other people basically. You just sit around without anything happening, echoing up, doing all your stuff, saying peaceful. For a second, then there's lag, and boom! Your capital gets nuked. I actually lost a great scientist in, in, in the nuke, so I like, okay, let's go. We burn the last surviving great scientist because, oh yeah, we're in trouble. Uh, so yeah, I got nuked by this little low carrier. As I said, filthy robot inland sea west closed. You couldn't get there without submarines and of course, I didn't have any single submarine and I should but as usual as usual I'm kind of thinking like uh, nah they're gonna be peaceful they're gonna let me build up they're gonna let me grow and win game peacefully well hell no not a single time and I always make the same mistake I let people kill me when I'm quite vulnerable. Well, kill me. He did not kill me, but he nuked my capital, okay? Uh, when your capital gets nuked, you're like, oh, no, GG, I, I don't want to play anymore. Well, no. No. That's not me. My capital got nuked. I got two infantry. He probably was working quite a lot of bombers. Uh, but I decided to, well, you just nuked the wrong person, mister. Philly Robert, you just nuked the wrong person. And how Arvius says, says it's punishment time. Hell yeah. Okay, so after the punishment time, <laughs> well, I skipped around, well, I think around hour of modern warfare combat. I managed. I managed. As you can see, I'm rolling 400 less science than I was starting the war with after my capital got nuked, so several nukes later <laughs> Several nukes later I managed to nuke his capital. I think two times as well Not only his capital back of his city fall as well. So yeah did that damaged him I uh, got some rocket artilleries up and was going to take Ankara soon. Uh, let me skip to the proper turn. Where's the GG? I think three turns later. Four turns later. Yes. So around four turns later, when I was about to take Ankara, Filthy Robot decided to 
concede. Uh, but let me get back a little bit to the spot where his capital got nuked because I want to talk a bit about his starting location. There we go, his starting location. So I didn't have Hubble yet even. So he got really nice spot, one city in there on, on a mountain, a very decent city in Medina, uh, capital on hill, and another city on hill in the south with, I think, a fifth city as well. So two cargo ships available for food to the capital. So pretty amazingly good start, a lot of oil, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so you'd ask like, okay, yours. If he was so good, he was playing so good, he had more points than you, he had more science than you, what happened? What happened? I don't know. I guess this is what happens here when you're fighting 5 city versus 11 city, right? 11 city. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, against 11 cities. Well, fighting against 11 cities, first of all, means that there's a lesser chance that you can uh, he can nuke your core cities, though he nuked a lot of my cities. But still, when I finally got to nukes, I was able to nuke him as well, but my nukes, most probably did a lot of more damage than his nukes. He never was able to break me. I managed to defend, though I got nuked several times, several times. Uh, and I guess Filthy Robot was too confident because he attacked two people at the same time. He took Lex Capital first since Zlek was the leader and he was above tech with me and then he tried, well he nuked my capital and started two wars on two fronts I believe that was a mistake probably if he didn't force me into war mode I'll, well he would probably have a little bit more time, maybe enough time to kill Siam and then focus on me and maybe the turn of events of this game would be a little bit different, but as I said, he felt in my belief that he was ready to take two people at the same time. That it's not always like that, that you get nukes and people GG away. Uh, maybe when you're playing against new people uh, that just don't have the experience in modern era warfare, but when you're playing against so-called experienced people that play a lot of those late game, mm, late game era games, one nuke, two nukes, three nukes, as long as you have production, as long as you can make units and you don't lose capital, and sometimes even if you lose the capital, it's not hard to lose the capital when you get nuked, bombed, and paratroop excommed they still fight and the outcome of modern era wars is not so obvious nukes does not guarantee you the win especially if your enemies have nukes as well so yeah that's it about the summary if you haven't watched the game i invite you to watch the game the link should be to the first position of the playlist around here if you're interested in the more content and in a different style of commentating, go check Filthy Robots channel or Filthy Robots Twitch channel. You can find the link to Filthy Robots YouTube channel on my main channel page in the link section that should be somewhere on that side of the screen. So definitely go check him out. Uh, he's a very, very good player sometimes just a tiny little bit overconfident just a little bit but overall a very good player so one more time thank you very much for the game gg filthy robot leg 10 zamp and Rillen one and thank you very much for watching and one more time i invite you to watch the actual game that starts on the first position of the playlist so best wishes yours out.